Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are starting out with skincare. So I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to prep her skin a little bit. And I am using a flat foundation brush to evenly apply this across her skin. Now this makeup was for my friend's engagement photo shoot and these would also be the pictures that she would send out for her wedding invitation. So she really put an emphasis on wanting like glowy skin. So to achieve this, I used my CoverGirl primers, the hydrating primer, as well as the illuminating primer. And as you can see, like it just literally brightens up her skin. It is amazing. Now to make the skin even a little bit more glowy, I'm going in with my OG Sculpted Face Stick in the shade Carnelian and I'm focusing this on like the high points of her face. So where I would naturally put like her highlighter later on in the makeup application, like so her cheekbones, um, you know, right above the arches of her eyebrows, really wherever you want, but this is just where I like to put it. Ooh, look at your skin. Ooh, what, what is that? So I use, this is what's making you glow, the CoverGirl Illuminating Primer, and then- oh, the primer. Yeah, and then the OG Face Stick and Carnelian. To her brows i'm going in with my rimmel london scandal eyes mascara and i'm using this kind of like you would use a brow gel just to help tame the brows a little bit give them a tint of color and i'm doing this just by brushing them upward and outward and just kind of manipulating the shape of them and you can totally see a difference So to define the brows a little bit more, I'm going in with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette, and I am pretty much just outlining the base of her brow as well as the top, and I'm lightly going through the brow just mimicking hair-like strokes um, so that it just gives a more natural look overall and it doesn't look so drawn on and you guys know i love me a good painted on brow but you know like i also always state there is a time and a place for that and so in this case because these are her engagement photos and they're going to be the photos for her wedding invitations you know she really wanted to look just more snatural so snatched but natural so <laughs> emphasis on the glowy skin we want like a softer brow so that's just kind of what we're going with and as a makeup artist you have to be able to switch up your style to meet your clients needs when needed So to carve out her brows and clean them up a little bit, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer, their yellow corrector, as well as my Winky Luxe Concealer in the shade Light Beige. So I'm mixing the two together and I'm using my Ruby Kisses Flat Concealer Brush to do this. And when carving out the brows, I always keep my brow pencil handy, just in the event if I, you know, accidentally carve too much away, I can just go back in and fill it in really quickly. 
And I'm taking that leftover concealer from the brows and I'm using it to apply it all over her lid because this is going to act as our eyeshadow base. Now before I go in with eyeshadow, I do like to set the eyelid first with my Japanese pressed setting powder and I also like to pat this over the brows as well to help set them too. For eyeshadow I'll be using my Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette and I'll literally be using every single color in this palette. To remove any fallout, I'm going in with my tried and true Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. It's the kind in the blue pack, the best. And then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more primer of that illuminating primer by CoverGirl on her face, um, just to keep the luminosity there. And since, you know, I just wiped underneath her eyes, you definitely wanna put primer back down before you start applying the face products. For her liner, I'm going in with my MAC Black Track Gel Liner to give her a quick cat eye. And then immediately after, I'm going to go in with the darkest brown in that Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette. And I'm literally going to stipple that dark shadow directly on top of the black liner. This is just going to help diffuse the liner itself so she doesn't have like this dark black line on her lid it's just gonna make it look softer overall
For complexion, I am using my minted stick foundation in the shade L10. It is literally a perfect match for her, which is why I used it. And to help blend it out all over her skin, I'm using my Pixi Rose Glow Mist. For concealer, I am going in with my Winky Luxe Concealer in the shade Light Beige. Now, when working with the under eye, in this case, I wanted to take my time and I really wanted to build that coverage. So you're actually gonna notice that I use more than one concealer, which is completely fine. It just depends on the amount of coverage you want. But yeah, I'm starting out with the Winky Luxe because I feel like it's a good starter concealer. For me, it just gave me a really good starting point with her complexion as far as the highlighting and it, it made me understand what I wanted to do next. And so you'll kind of see that unfold as we go along. So for the next concealer, I am going in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Beige. And I like this one compared to the Winky Luxe because the Winky Luxe is cool. It's just more neutral. It has more of like this, you know, sheer to natural finish. The e.l.f. has more of a yellow undertone rather than just neutral. And it also provides a little bit more coverage. And the best way to blend out product like this, in my opinion, is with my damp beauty blender. And as you can see, I'm literally just bouncing it up and down. I'm not pulling it, I'm not rubbing it, I'm not doing anything special. I'm literally just bouncing it against the skin and I'm allowing that beauty blender to do the work for me. Now, if you're ever in a situation where you feel like too much product has gotten trapped on one side of that beauty blender, just flip it to the other side or roll it over to the other side and it helps give you control over that product. So I'm gonna do a little spot treating just by color correcting a few small areas of her face. And I'm doing this with my green LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I'm going in on top of that with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Beige. And I am just lightly blending that out with my Beauty Blender. So lightly tapping in the center and then making sure I diffuse the edges around where I just color correct it. For contour, I'm starting out with my Minted Cosmetics 
foundation stick in the shade L20. For contour, I do like to gradually make it deeper. So, you know, I'll start out with a particular color and kind of just get a feel for how it is on the skin, how warm it is. And I think it's great to do it that way because you can really take a step back and determine like, okay, this is good. Or, you know what, I think I want something a little bit warmer. And so that's kind of what I did here. So I, I made sure to like take my time and just kind of build that color up for the contour. So I'm starting out with this one right now, which is the minted. And then I'm going to go in with something a little bit warmer later on. For the nose contour, I generally like to take the same brush that I've used to blend out the contour everywhere else and I pretty much just squeeze the brush together and I go down the sides of the client's nose to really help sculpt the nose and get it to become the shape that I really want it to be. To sculpt her face even more, I am going to deepen her contour. And to do this, I am using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. To add a little bit more brightness underneath the eyes, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer Yellow Color Corrector. To set her under eyes and the rest of her face, I'm going in with my Japanesque Pressed Setting Powder, which is translucent. And I'm using my Real Techniques setting brush to do this, and I'm literally just pressing the powder into the skin. To bake, I'm actually going in with my Airspun Loose Setting Powder in the shade Naturally Neutral. And I'm going in with a little bit of my Ben Nye Banana Powder on top. I really like doing this because I feel like the Ben Nye Powder gives a little bit more coverage and gives a really nice overall finish that I really like. So right now I'm just stippling the foundation powder onto her skin and I'm using my BH Cosmetics Pro Studio Powder in the shade 230 to do this. And then I'm gently sweeping away any powder that is left over on the skin that we do not need.
To set her contour, I'm going in with my Minty Cosmetics Bronzer in the shade Vacay. So I'm going to continue warming her up by going in with my Mintic Cosmetics X Ashley Blaine Highlighter Contour Duo in the shade Season 1. However, I'm using the highlighter side to warm her up versus the matte side because if you use too many matte powders for the contour, your client can begin to look flat. So this is just helping bring balance to her face overall. So to highlight her face, I'm going in with my Pixi Highlight in the shade Subtle Sunrise. But before I go in, I like to spray the face first. It's just a little trick I like to use. And I'm using my Pixi Rose Glow Mist to do this. But I find that spraying the face first before I apply the highlighter makes the highlighter pop a lot more. So this is a good tip to use if you want that highlight to like really beam and really pop, okay? For blush, I am going in with my MAC See Me Hear Me blush. This is from their Aquatic Collection from like 2014, so it is discontinued, but it's just a really beautiful color and it's definitely my favorite blush to use in my entire makeup kit because it's so complimentary on so many different skin tones. I work with an array of skin tones on a weekly basis. And this is the one blush that is just so universal in my kit. It just looks good on everyone. And I love it for that reason. For her lip liner, I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses Nude Rose Lip Liner. This is 99 cents at my local beauty supply store, so you can grab it too, more than likely, at your beauty supply. And then to deepen the lip liner a little bit more, I'm going in with Ruby Kisses Lip Pencil in the shade Nude. For her lipstick, I'm going in with my MAC X Aaliyah Try Again Lipstick. And then I'm topping her lips with the Arrowhead Lipstick by MAC from their Vibe Tribe collection, which launched back in 2014, so it is discontinued. But a good nude substitute uh, from MAC would be Myth Lipstick.
For mascara, I'm using my Grace Jade Cosmetics Mascara, but of course I'm using a disposable spoolie to do this because it's just more sanitary that way. And of course I'm using my tried and true wiggle and pull technique, which is wiggle at the base for volume and then pull at the tips of the lashes for length. I don't remember what lashes these are, but I know that they are some faux 3D mink lashes from my local beauty supply. As of lately, I've been really into the real 3D mink lashes for my clients, but faux 3D mink lashes get the job done too. They can come through, girl, and they're affordable, so. To line her lower waterline, I'm going in with my Sephora Coal Liner in Intense Black and I'm immediately smudging that out with a pencil brush to give it this sultry effect on the eyes. To brighten her tear ducts, I'm going in with my Pixie Beauty Liquid Fairy Lights in the shade Sunray. And to finish off this look, I'm setting her skin with the Pixie Beauty Glow Mist. And then I like to fan the face a little bit once we finish up. And then just for some final finishing touches, I'm going in with a little bit more of that shadow from the Naked Petite Heat Palette by Urban Decay. And that is it, you guys. This is the completed look. This is like the natural, glowy look that she was asking for, for her engagement photos. And I'm so honored to have been a part of this because like I said, these are photos that she used for her wedding invitation. So these are pictures that are going to be around for a very long time. So I am so honored I got to do this and I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Feel free to share it if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.